This is Twit. DJI, I didn't know that DJI, the makers of the DJI Phantom, probably the number one, you know, sub $20,000 mm. uh, drone. Uh, I didn't know that DJI stands for Dajiang Innovation Corporation. It's a Chinese company. Maybe the Department of Justice didn't know because they've just issued a memo, the Department of the Army, saying, uh, guys, don't use DJI drones anymore. Uh, they are the most widely used non-program of record commercial off-the-shelf UAS employed by the Army. But, as you see in this memo, in uh, item three, cease all use, uninstall all DJI applications, remove all batteries and storage media from device, and secure equipment for follow-on direction. We'll be, we'll be sending RoboCop to destroy it imminently. Like follow-on direction. <laughs> Here's a sledgehammer. <laughs> so... Uh, DJI, by the way, said we, we're surprised and disappointed they didn't contact us. We could have probably reassured them uh, because we're made in China. Every everything I, on this desk is made in China. Um, should it, I understand? Remember when the Department of Commerce a couple of years ago said, "Don't buy Huawei and ZTE mm -hmm. phones because the Chinese military is a part owner." Amy, you're an expert on uh, China. Is is this uh, paranoia or is this sensible? Um, I wouldn't call myself a a, a China expert. I just um, told I you did, once, however, so you get to be. So. I did, however, fly my DJI Maverick this morning. Um, oh. So uh, I clearly wasn't wasn't obeying the rules. <clears throat> um, well, it's just the Army. You're not in the Army yet, yeah, so it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I think it depends on where you are. Listen, I, I had a I have the connected headset. Yeah. So um, you have bird's eye view, and, and I had a lovely time flying around the bay this Ooh, morning. Fun. Oh, you were using, great. like, the virtual reality yeah, oh, it's pretty cool. It's like ooh, cool. The, the Maverick has a, a gimbal camera and you can control the gimbal by moving your head around. So it's, uh, oh, it's pretty slick. That's so you cool. feel like you're yeah. there, like you're a bird. Yeah, it's bird's eye view. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Oh. Um, my husband, and you technically you can fly it and do that at the same time, but I'm not that dexterous. So I usually have somebody else fly if I want to look and vice versa. Um, listen, I don't know, you know, if you think about the information that could be scraped, uh, I don't know how much necessarily. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's affordable. You can fly it into a tree. Um, I need that, by the way, because I have not yet successfully flown. I have I have obliterated many drones. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, to many things. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep thinking, oh, maybe it's because I have a cheap one, so I buy a more expensive one, fly it into a tree. Yeah, that, well, that'll maybe, help. Maybe that one was too cheap, so yeah. I'll buy you need a more cheaper expensive. trees, Leo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You need cheap. They'll just go. Oh, I've right just given down. up on drones. Yeah. I think the theory um, is that it's it could be mapping like they've right. got GPS, they've got cameras, they've got. It right. could be sending data back to China, but this right. is this is this strikes me as Kaspersky all over again. It's just like oh, they're not proper American homegrown. Let's ban them. You yeah, know, but good I, luck finding a drone that's not made at least made in China. Exactly. Yeah, even three D robotics when they were making, they were being made largely in China. Right. They had some mm. in Tijuana too. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, it's just there is there is no technology that any of us owns that has at some point hasn't had some interaction with uh, with China. So, you know, yeah. Um, in terms of mapping, you know, anywhere that you would want to that that a Chinese government may get excited about, um, you know, you're you're gonna you're going to have a hard time flying over anyways. So mm -hmm. because there's restricted airspace and it's hard to get to, um, and to be honest there's there's you know within two years there are fleets of cubesats and microsats that are that are, that are being launched um by companies that will be collecting real-time hourly uh maps and and data all around planet earth so to to harness me um to to get a snapshot on this particular day of the place where i happen to be flying just seems like um something that wouldn't be worth yeah. their while also you if know? there is something to be worried about shouldn't Instead of just banning it from U.S. military use, and if there's something that that tell really, us. That really is, yeah, I was going to tell the people Let who are buying know. the things. You know, yeah. it's like, why shouldn't you be buying this? <laughs> it's, hmm. 